Hey, what's going on? Dr. Gans World Boogie here again, back for another Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS update. And I got some really cool stuff to show you guys in this video. I have some more Blu-rays, and I'm happy to finally say I'm going to be buying a Blu-ray player this weekend. So I'm really, really looking forward to that, because for the past couple weeks, I've been collecting Blu-rays now for like two, three weeks. I uh, had just been buying the DVD Blu-ray combo packs, Mo basically just the ones Screen Factory put out, even though I did pick up one of the Synapse Hammer releases. And uh, But other than that, I've been just picking up the Screen Factory DVD combo packs with the Blu-rays. So um, I'm happy that soon after this weekend, I'll finally be able to just pick up any of the Screen Factory Blu-rays I want, and just any Blu-ray in general. And I actually did pick up a Blu-ray this week that wasn't a um, DVD combo pack, just because I knew I'm going to, you know, I know I'm going to be buying my Blu-ray player this weekend. So I figured I would pick that one up because it's actually my, basically my, one of my favorite movies of all time. So I figured I needed to get that one eventually anyways. But um, yeah, other than that, I got some cool Blu-rays here and a couple DVDs and a couple tapes. So a um, little small update here, but I figured I would try to squeeze another one in at, at the very end of this month for you guys. So first off, I'll show you guys the Blu-rays that I picked up. And first off here, I have a stack of Screen Factory releases. I actually have four Screen Factory releases that I'll show you guys that I picked up over the past like two weeks or so. First up here, I ordered this one a while ago, and it took uh, a couple weeks to come in the mail, so I was real happy when I got this. And this is the Scanners 2 and 3 Screen Factory 2 pack, and this is awesome. I um, really like the Scanner sequels. They're definitely not as good as the first movie, but they're fun. They're like straight to video. They're really cheesy. And if you like stuff like that, you know, I would recommend these. So really cool here. But um, I was really happy to get these two because before this I had only seen these movies on VHS. I actually own both of these movies on DVD, but they're a foreign release, and I don't have a region-free DVD player, so I couldn't watch them. I found them at a thrift store. I picked them up just because they were there. So I had never really seen good quality prints of these movies, so watching the Scream Factory release of this, which I'm sure they cleaned up the you know the transfer and everything really good. I mean, these looked great. The, and it was cool because the third one I had actually never really seen all the way through because the VHS copy that I tried to watch... Um, skipped a lot at the beginning. I had a lot of static fuzz and it would go to white and the audio would go in and out. So I didn't have the best time trying to watch that one on tape. So it was really cool trying to watch both of these. And um, like I said, these are both like cheese ball sequels to Scanners, but um, they're really fun. And if you like stuff like that, like if you like the Scanners movies or films by David Cronenberg, I just think these are fun to watch and cool to have for the collection. So awesome Scream Factory pack here. Scanners 2 and 3. Alright, next up here, this is a, a movie that I've been wanting to get on some form of release for a while. I've been wanting, I've been look, I was looking for the tape and the DVD for a while, but when I found out Screen Factory, or when I heard Screen Factory was putting this one out, I was like, well, I'm just going to buy that one then. And this is John Carpenter's Body Bags. And um, this also has a skit in it directed by Toby Hooper. This is in, like a horror anthology directed by John Carpenter and Toby Hooper. And this is really cool. This came out like at the height of Tales from the Crypt, I think. Tales from the Crypt was really doing well on TV and everything. And uh, this is just loads of fun. This was really cool. I had a lot of fun watching this. It has some really cool guest stars in here. Uh, Debbie Harry is in this. David Naughton. Um, just, you know, really cool. Some directors are in here, too. Wes Craven and Roger Corman both have, like, a small bit part in this movie. So this was just really fun. And if you've never seen this before, it's just, like, your classic horror anthology. It has, like, three skits. And in between is this character here, actually played by John Carpenter, who is, um, he's, like, a living corpse at a, at a morgue or something like that where they keep all the dead bodies. And it's really cool. He, like, kind of, you know, unzips the body bags and tells little stories about him. But I thought this was really fun. And I love horror anthologies, especially 80s and early 90s ones. So this was really awesome. So glad to finally get this. Probably one of my favorite Scream Factory DVDs I have right now. 
right? And these next two Scream Factory releases I picked up at FYE. And uh, first off we have here is Nightbreed. This is di the uh, director's cut of Nightbreed, which it had been a really long time since I had seen this movie. Last time I watched this was probably when I was in high school, probably like five years ago, and it wasn't the uh, director's cut of the movie. It was the, you know, the older DVD release of it, of course, because the director's cut just came out when this did. And uh, so I, I had almost forgotten this movie completely, and this was a really fun movie. I would have to say, when I was done watching this, I almost thought this this might be my favorite Clive Barker movie, but the first Hellraiser movie is so good that that's, it's really hard to say, but I just had a lot of fun watching this. I thought it was a really well done movie. The special effects and everything in this movie just looked really good. Same thing with just the whole visuals of this movie looked awesome. This movie also has David Cronenberg in it as an actor, which I always thought was interesting. Because um, I've seen a couple other movies where he plays like smaller parts in, but in this movie he has a pretty big part, David Cronenberg. So it was cool to, to see that, because last time I had seen this movie I wasn't as big of a David Cronenberg fan. So watching it again now was, was really cool to see him in it like that. Well, this was just a really cool movie. If I can remember the plot of this at all, um, this guy here, like, had some problems growing up where he had, like, these dreams about this land called Midian, which is where all these monsters and stuff are from. It's, like, it's not really explained well. It's, like, some imaginary land, but then later on in the movie you find out it's real. It's a very, like, dream-like movie, but that's what I think is really cool about this. And, um... David Cronenberg's character is like that character is like psychiatrist or something like that. I've only seen this movie a couple of times, so I'm a little rusty on the uh, plot of it. And um, as the movie goes on, the main character is trying to figure out if he's still having these hallucinations and if he's actually murdering people or if there's something else behind it. And I just thought it was a really cool movie and I had a lot of fun watching this. Highly recommend this. Great Clyde Barker movie, cool director's cut. There's a little intro on here where Clyde Barker and some other guy talk about what it went through to make the director's cut of this. And, um, you know, really glad to finally have uh, seen the uh, full cut of this movie. Awesome stuff here. And then last year for the Scream Factory picks up, pickups, this is um, Night of the Demons. This is one of my favorite 80s horror comedy movies. I would put this right up there with Return of the Living Dead. And Night of the Comet. I just think this is a really fun movie. And um, I have the Anchor Bay of this. And I've seen this movie tons of times. I usually, like, now it's become a tradition for me to watch this movie every Halloween. Because the plot of this movie um, revolves around a Halloween party at this um, house. I think it's called Full House. I can't remember. And um, just, you know, they, they accidentally summon some demons when they're doing some party games. And... It's kind of about how they deal with it, and it's just really fun. This is a very funny movie. I like the characters are fun. It's it's just, I, I don't know how many times to say fun with this movie, but it's just a fun movie, so highly recommend this one. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this one, but if not, you're missing out on a great 80s flick right here, so highly recommend this one. All right, and then last for the Blu-rays, this is actually a Blu-ray set that I bought yesterday and this actually doesn't come with the, the DVD so this is just a Blu-ray set but like I said I plan to get my Blu-ray player this weekend so I actually bought this to celebrate when I get my Blu-ray player this is probably going to be the first movie that I watch on it and this is the three disc 30th anniversary collector's edition of Blade Runner and they had this at FYE for 20 bucks brand new, which I thought was a good deal. And I treated in a few things, and I got the backstage pass also. So I got this altogether. I only spent like about 6 or $8 on this. And this was brand new, and this I thought that was a really good deal. I'd say the cover of this I'm a little iffy about. I would have been a lot more happy if they just put the movie poster on the cover, even though they've done that before. But I was just going to say, not my favorite cover they could have picked. I can understand why, because the, the whole, you know, unicorn thing is kind of important to the director's cut of the movie, but I've never thought that as being one of the most iconic, iconic images from the movie, and this movie has a, a lot of really awesome 
images in it and imagery. And this is a beautiful looking movie. And really, they could have picked any scene in it and it would have looked good. So, I mean, I'm not seeing the cover is bad. But I just think they could have been a little bit more creative about it. And this is the back of it, which is the clip of him picking up the paper unicorn origami figure off the ground. Have you ever seen the movie? That's towards the end of it. And um, this is a really cool set. The main reason I picked this up is because on the third disc, it comes with a rare cut of this movie that I've never seen before. So I felt like I needed to get that because I've only seen the theatrical cuts of this movie and the you know director's cut and the final cut. And this comes with, I think it's called the rare work print version, which I think is the like an early, like one of the earliest cuts of the movie, like before they cut it for theater. So before it even got the director's cut. So I'm really interested to see what the movie was like. I wonder if the narration was added in, because I know that was kind of added in last minute, so I'm interested if the work print cut has the, the narration or not. And I'm also interested on in how the ending might be, because I know for the theatrical cut, they actually, I think, changed the ending to the so-called happy ending, which is in the theatrical and international theatrical cuts of the movie, which that, that's actually, I love that cut. It's, I think it's, it's one of my favorites to watch, but I like to watch all the book cuts of Blade Runner. I just think it's a great movie no matter which way it was cut and edited together because you usually the differences aren't too much just little bits of things but the theatrical cut and the director's cut do have drastic differences in it and um so I'm interested to see which one this is uh, closer to and I'm guessing it might be a mix of both so I'm really looking forward to checking out the uh this cut of the movie that I've never seen before and I know it's longer to by only like four or five minutes than any of the other cuts of the movie. So I'm also, I'm just extremely interested in looking forward to checking out that cut of the movie because this is one of my favorite movies ever, Blade Runner, and just anything about it I just want to know about. So really happy to finally be seeing this cut of the movie. You can also get the, the rare work print cut or whatever it's called on the five disc collector's box set, which comes in like a crazy suitcase thing which I hope to one day own. I actually only have the four disc DVD set, so one day I would really like to get the five disc one, but it's kind of expensive and hard to find. So right now I thought this was a perfect little thing to pick up. Really happy about this. Blade Runner, three disc, Blu-ray, really awesome. All right, next up I just have a couple DVDs here to show you guys. And first off, this is, um, I showed this in my last video, which was my 500 subscribers celebration video where I showed my top 10 favorite Anchor Bay releases. And um, I had, had I actually had gotten this in the mail the day I filmed that video, but um, I already had showed it in that video, but it's still a recent pickup for me, so I figured I would show it in this video too. And this is the, the older release of Hellraiser 2 from Anchor Bay. Hellraiser 2 Hellbound, and I've always really liked this release of this movie. I like the way they uh, made the cover look. I just think it's awesome. This is one of my favorite Anchor Bay releases that I own on DVD now, and that's why I showed it in my top 10 Anchor Bay video. This is one that I've been wanting to pick up for a while. I've seen it in one of my friends' collection um, years ago, and ever since I've always really wanted this. And this is a really early Anchor Bay release. It still has one of their older logos still on it, so really cool. Happy to get this. has a great insert in here, and just the old school Anchor Bay disc. Really awesome. So glad I picked this one up. All right, and then last for the DVD pickups, this is Night of the Creeps, which um, I had seen this one at FYE for a couple of years now, and for some reason I've always passed on it. I think it has something to do with the cover art. Just, I don't know, it's not bad, but it doesn't, it's not appealing to me for some reason. So, for some reason I've passed on this one a couple of times, and I've never really seen a good review of this, so I wasn't really sure what to expect out of this. But um, after watching this, this movie was awesome. This has Tom Atkins in it, who some of you Halloween fans might know from Halloween 3, which he plays a character similar to that character from Halloween 3. And this movie is just over the top, no holes bar, funny horror movie. You know, it's like a horror comedy. And it, you know, it's and it's an 80s movie. And it's like, it has so many of the 80s stereotypes in it. You would almost think it was like 
a parody made later on to look like an 80s horror movie, but it just, it did it really well back in the day, where, back in the 80s, and it just looks, it has everything you would want to see in a cheesy 80s movie, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It has some aliens, some weird looking alien guys on here, you can see right there. And it's just, this movie was just loads of fun. It was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. And um, I'm trying to remember the plot now. It's been a, it's been about like a week since I've seen this one now. But I remember it had something to do, of course, there was like an alien crashed to Earth back in the 50s. So the first, very beginning of this movie was like a throwback to like 50s sci-fi movies. It was in black and white. And, you know, they had the 50s, like, Elvis music playing, and, you know, it just, they, they really did a good job with that part, too, making it look 50s, and, um, like, some alien crashes, and it, I think it infects, um, this person, and they, like, cry cryogenically freeze the body, which is, um, the, uh, the guy in the cover here is, is the guy from the 50s, and, um, these two kids here are, like, they're freshmen in college, I think, and they're trying to get into some sorority or whatever it's called. They're, you know, they're trying to join some college thing, and uh, they have to do this dare where they have to, like, steal a body. So they go to this place to steal the body, and they accidentally, like, wake up this guy's body who, who had had the alien pop in. And so this guy, like, mute, is like a mutant, and he starts, like, turning other people into mutants. So it's kind of like a zombie flick, and... It's just, it's really cool. It's like an alien movie and a zombie flick all in one. Just fun, cheesy 80s-ness. I would highly, highly recommend this. I had loads of fun watching this. I, it was way more fun and way better of a movie than I expected it to be. So I was really happy picking this one up. Alright, and then last for this update video, I have a couple of tapes to show you guys. And first off here is the CBS Fox release of Halloween 4, and this has been the Halloween 4 tape that I've been wanting to buy for a long time now. I always look for this one at thrift stores, and I always have bad luck. I either don't find it, or one of my other friends will find it and buy it, and it's like, oh, I need this one. So I was really happy to finally get this, so now I need to get Halloween 5 CBS box, of course. But I was really happy with this anyways. I, I only paid like a dollar for this at the thrift store like always. And um, I love Halloween 4. It's one of my favorite out of all the Halloween movies. And I've just always wanted this VHS tape. Ever since I knew it existed, like I seen, like the first time I saw it was in somebody's video on YouTube probably like three, four years ago. And ever since then, I've really wanted this tape. So I'm really glad to finally get it from him for my collection. It's actually not in the best shape. But I'm um, happy with it anyways. I'm sure it'll play fine, though. The tape looks pretty good. And then last for this video is one more VHS tape. And this is Encounter with the Unknown. This is a, I think, a TV special hosted by Rod Serling, the man from Twilight Zone, which is the main reason I picked this up. I'm a huge Twilight Zone fan, huge Rod Serling fan. Dude is awesome, and... Everything he's ever had anything to do with is also awesome. So I've never seen this. I'm guessing this was a some sort of TV movie made in the 70s with you know Rod Serling hosted it. It's like a, it's a horror anthology, of course, it has like three separate stories in this. But um, I, for some reason, I had a feeling that this tape was probably rare, and I picked it up. And when I checked at home, it actually is kind of rare. This is I don't think you can get this on DVD, and if you can, it's like on some budget. DVD 2 pack, you can't get like a really good release of this, and this is actually from uh, Media, it's like a media tape, and um, I love collecting uh, media tapes too, because they're always really good quality VHS tapes with nice artwork and good packaging, so I'm really looking forward to watching this, because like I said before, Rod, Ster Rod Sterling is the man, and I love the Twilight Zone, so, and uh, Night Gallery is also good, so I'm guessing this is maybe from around the time Night Gallery was around, but I'm not really sure what this is all about. Maybe someone else um, knows a little bit more about this watching my videos can let me know in the comments what this is all about, but you know, this does look awesome to me, and um, I can't wait to get around to watching this one. Alright, that was it for the update though, for this time around. And um, I should probably have um, a couple updates up next month too. I Now I want to try to get um, 
like one up in the middle of the month and then try to put another one up towards the end of the month too but you know we'll see what happens and now that I'm getting my blu-ray player I plan to pick tons of blu-rays up so my next video will probably have some really cool blu-rays and probably a couple of screen factories to show too so um, you know looking forward to seeing you guys again and thanks again for watching the video give it a thumbs up or leave a comment if you liked it and uh, see you guys around